So let's look at the spreadsheet that we're going to use to solve a bunch of problems. We're going to do a ton of examples, and so you need to build this thing. <clears throat> so what I want you to start with is just setting up something that looks like this. The closer you make it look to mine, the better it's going to be when you're following along. Basically, the idea <clears throat> with this page is that the gray items are items that we will not input, and the white items are items that we will input and change or goal seek. So uh, some of the things that we need to do is we need to actually, to make programming this a little bit easier, is we want to set, for example, the cell D3 to be equal to variable G. And so if you pull down this drop down uh, arrow here, um, <clears throat> it'll give you some choices, uh, or you can just click in there, just click in here and type in G. Um, You're going to need to do that for all of the white cells, and I've got the variable names listed out here. <clears throat> We're going to use the Manning equation to calculate normal flow, and I already went through that in the previous example. The only thing that we haven't done yet <clears throat> in terms of making it go is to define the things that we need such as the wetted perimeter, the hydraulic radius, the cross-sectional area, in terms of variables as they relate to a trapezoidal channel. So um, we need to get the bottom width to be lowercase b, and the side slope is m. <clears throat> this is not the normal convention because sometimes we'll have a rectangular channel and we want to just set m to zero instead of to infinity. Uh, depth is y. So if we put all those variables in and to the Manning equation, this is the equation that you need to calculate the flow rate instead of the velocity. We're gonna do the same thing for the fruit number again, same trapezoidal geometry uh, in this case, but it's gonna be for the fruit number and also for the energy equation and specific force. Um, <clears throat> area is a little bit easier and velocity, uh, wetted perimeter, put all those equations in and uh, hydraulic radius and you should get a spreadsheet that has the same numbers. If you put these values in, sorry, if you put these values in, it should spit out the same number and these numbers. And so now, <clears throat> so now let's do a test. So we're going to get the spreadsheet open and what we want to do is we want to change the depth so that we get the flow rate to be 100. So that is going to tell us what the depth would be if the flow rate was 100. So we could guess and check that. <clears throat> we could put in 2 here and that came down, put in 1.5. So we're, we've gone too far, so let's try, you know, 1.6, that's pretty close, 1.65, too far. Or what we can do, and this is how we're going to solve problems for, for the entire rest of the class, is to use goal seek. So if you go in here to data, and then what if analysis, goal seek, and we want to set this cell equal to 100 and we're going to do it by changing the depth and so there's our answer <clears throat>